keeping up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure, here we are with a remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students! This is your teacher, Inasia D'Souza, from Takur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College, with Part 2 of Ode 1 in of Standard 7 English, and I hope you do remember what you learnt last time. Yes, we have two girls, one whose name is Rima, who is very snobbish and who looks down on others, especially on Malti, who is a newcomer and makes her life miserable. But as the story unfolds, we know that Malti turns out to be quite a gem of a person. So let's discover more about Malti in this story today. Odd One In Part 2 No one was surprised when Malti won the first prize. Rima did come first in her category. Somehow she felt no joy. It means that she did not feel happy. As the term progressed, that means as the term moved forward, it was abundantly clear, that means it was very evident, absolutely clear to all that Malti was a bright child. She was quite studious and intelligent. She fared well in sports as well as in studies. Her forte, forte means her strength or her strong point was mathematics. Her simple appearance belied a sharp and nimble brain. Behind her simple appearance or her simple facade, there was a very intelligent person. Slowly, Many of the girls began seeking her help in mathematics, help which she readily and cheerfully gave. The teachers had liked the respectful, intelligent girl from the beginning. Now girls from the class also befriended her. Not Rima and her clique though. What we can see here is how good Malti was in the first place. She was a bright child. Secondly, she was quite studious, means clever and intelligent. Third, she was also good in sports. Fourth, she was very good when it came to maths. Fifth, she was very simple in appearance. But she was a personification of the phrase or the proverb, as we would say, simple living, high thinking. And therefore, many of the girls began to come and ask her to help them in mathematics. And whenever she was called to help, she never refused. Therefore, the teachers liked her for all the good qualities that she had. And most of the girls in the class became her friends. Befriended means to become friends. But there was an exception and that was Rima and her click. A click means gang. Felt no joy means to feel unhappy, progressed, moved ahead, abundantly clear, very evident. Qualities that Maldi had were she was quiet, studious, helpful, respectful and intelligent. Sharp and nimble would mean active and alert. Forte, on the other hand, would mean strength. They stubbornly disliked Malti. They were a stylish lot and nothing that Malti did could alter the fact that she was not their type. They never lo lost a chance to poke fun at her, particularly her English. Malti felt bad about their behavior. One day, she was on the verge of tears when Rima mocked at her mercilessly because she said ax instead of ask. Her voice trembling, Malti said, 
I know my English is weak. Yours is good. Please, will you help me to improve it? Rima and her gang had a strong dislike for Malti because Malti and Rima were poles apart. They were like chalk and cheese. This phrase means that there are two things which are different. In the same way, they felt that she did not belong to their group and therefore they always made it a point to make fun of her whenever they could. And what was Malti's weak point? English. And therefore, Malti always felt bad about the way they behaved with her. And one day, she was on the verge of tears. That means she was at the point of breaking down. When Rima made fun of her mercilessly, mercilessly means without any mercy, without any kindness. Why? Because she mispronounced one word that was ask. And therefore, when with a trembling voice, with fear in her heart, Malti approached Rima. To help her in English? What was Rima's reply? I won't be able to help you, my dear, replied Rima with an exaggerated accent. Speaking proper English isn't easy for you country fight types. Malti's face turned red. She wanted to retort, but could not find the right words. She burst into tears and ran off. That was horrid, Rima, said Shenaz. Yes, agreed Neha and Claire roundly. Rima was shocked. Her own friends had turned against her. She walked off in a huff. Mrs. Sane found her subdued over lunch, but decided not to ask anything. Rima knew that she had behaved very badly. She was too proud to admit it, even to herself. From Odd One Inn by Titi Tabora My dear children, when Maldi was approached for help, she was very gracious and helped everyone who approached her. Now look at Rima. Rima too had an opportunity to help because her forte was English. But did she help Malti? On the contrary, instead of helping her, she made fun of her and it also shows us that Rima was a snob because she spoke with an exaggerated accent. Can you see this bird here? Okay, it's a very, very small bird. But look at how much it has been blown out of pro proportion. In the same way, Rima had a great and inflated ego about herself and therefore she looked down on others. A word here that we find very different and unusual is countryfied. Countryfied refers to village or rural areas and it meant that Malti was like a simple village girl. Now, Malti did not expect this kind of reply from Rima. She wanted to reply back. But she did not know what to say. And so she started crying bitterly and ran off. 
This made Shaina's very angry and she told Rima that it was a very horrible thing to do. The other friends, Neha and Claire, also agreed with Shaina's. Rima was shocked. The tables had turned on her and she did not expect her own friends to go against her. Therefore, she walked out in anger. When she reached home, her mother, Mrs. Singh, found her attitude very different. She was very quiet and she did not seem to be her normal self. But she guessed that something must have happened in school. So she decided to be quiet for some time until Rima would open up. Now, deep within her heart, Rima knew that she had behaved very badly. But she was too proud to admit it, even to herself. What does this tell you about Rima? Did Rima have the humility to accept her mistakes? No, she did not. On the contrary, she was very arrogant. But does it pay to be like Rima or does it pay to be like Malti? Would you like everyone to like you? Or would you like to be the odd one out when no one likes you? We know that this story by Titi Trapora has a very important message for all of us. And that is, we need to be good, kind, helpful and loving. Especially in times like this, when things do not work out the way they should. So when times are tough, what we need to do is we need to remember that tough times do not last, but tough people do. And so this is your teacher, Inasia D'Souza, signing off for today, wishing you a very happy day, a very safe day and a day where you will also learn to be good and kind to others, just like Malti, and make a difference to this world.